It's Dave. And Dan. And welcome to another episode of Hooked on Headwaters, but this time we are beyond the headwaters. We're at the Indian River Lagoon where we had a fishing adventure. I'm going to let Dan tell you a little more about it. So something Dave and I have been wanting to do for quite a while is a catch clean cook, and we've finally so done it. So cool. Finally yep. done it. Yep. Um, we went out, we, we uh, caught some fish, ended up on an island, we cleaned the fish, cooked the fish. <laughs> And uh, I think you guys, you're gonna enjoy it. We are. I know it's, I did. It's so cool. It was yeah. one of the coolest things I've done. Um, so we're gonna go to the fishing video now, then we'll come back and talk more about the clean and cooking portion of, the, of this segment. So here we go, enjoy the footage. Yeah, yeah. Nice one. Another one to eat. Keep it low. Keep it on the down low. In. Right, Dan's trying to Dan's trying to knock my fish off. Do the old okey doke. We're in a competition at all times. <laughs> There's a nice little keeper. It'll be lunch real soon. Tasty already. See how hard they pull? That was good fine. I got lots of teeth. you the mutton snapper. This is actually a lane snapper. Look at the anal fin, it's round. The yellow gives you an indication, but you, this is the shape. Two different, two toed, both in the snapper family, but different fish. So this one, I think they only got to be like eight or ten inches, which is pretty small. They don't, the lanes don't get big, but uh, this one is too small no matter, so we're going to let him go back. Yeah. It's really beautiful fish. Look at Good the eating. color of his tail. Beautiful. Sometimes this is the, kind of some of the most relaxing fishing to me. Yeah. Because I, you know, with guided fishing trips, it's always, you know, maximizing the time, trying to make sure people just catch a lot of fish, and, you know, really working at it. Or this is kind of a, a little more laid back, yeah. take it easy. You got kids, that's fishing right here. Yeah. Simple, simple setup. Yeah. Kiss method. That's, a, that's me. Split shot, J hook on that tail, that shrimp tail right up there. Right up that J hook. Oh, 
filing. Does that count? Count for anything? About a filing? Yes. Yeah, you got some food to catch those. <laughs> No, they're no dumb questions, only very stupid ones like that. <laughs> oh, you're gonna leave your rod. Look at this! <laughs> Ow! Oh, yeah, you almost lost your rod. I almost lost my rod. See that? That all fills too. We would have scored it. Over puffer fish, I tell you. seasoning and uh, I don't blacken it as in color. Uh, like I have it so. so what I'm going to have today is uh, look like a little kind of pico de gallo, uh, it's a little red onion, uh, lime, tomato. I like cucumber of mine. A lot of people put bell pepper and stuff like that. I like cucumber. It's nice and refreshing on a hot day like today. Um, so I prep all our, our uh, vegetables and fruits. And then I'll switch over and I'm going to clean the fish and we'll get into cooking the fish. I'll see this stuff back out the way here. And we'll do this around. I'll let you all just all chill. Turn on. I'll switch the purpose for this one right here. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Only way to start. You take lime in your Yingling? Sure. Like a resort. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you just 
like to hear you make, so if I don't have the accent. <laughs> Cheers! How much cilantro do you like, babe? I like cilantro. Good thing we have more. Cilantro and garlic. Wow. Babe. So I like to dice up my cilantro nice. Pretty fine. I do similar stuff for ceviche. But I like to put in the lime juice. Uh, save the life without my fish in there, but that fish goes. Just a little bit different, though. You don't like fish. That should be. About right on the line. We can always squeeze a little bit more in there and a little bit. It smells good. Mm-mm. Love it. Well, now this I've not, uh, not put mango in this before. I, I put mango in a similar mix with ceviche. Like a sweeter sweet, but I, I had some jalapenos to uh, mix with it. That's but our next video. Ceviche. What we'll do now is we're going to take this and we're going to rinse the bottom of it off. Put it in the cooler to keep it cool. And uh, we'll clean our fish. We rinse off this extra fish line. It keeps everything a lot cleaner. I have my own technique of uh, cleaning fish that I've done for years. Just kind of natural way for me to clean them. So I feel like you get the most yield off of a fish. So first things first, let me get some eyeballs. Get some eyeballs. Ah. Eyeballs are fishy. Okay, so I run. Here's the dorsal fin, and you can see there's a place here that you can. The, the, the fin tucks inside the fish, so you have a lot of extra fin there that you don't see when it's down. And it's like a little pocket you can kind of hang your fingernail in. So what I do is I take the tip of my knife, you need a nice sharp knife, and I run down this fin through the backbone, almost to the tail, and then I go through and make sure I'm on this side of the spine. There. Cut him there. Like that. Hey, now, now I'm going to change my the angle of my knife, or the direction of my knife, I'm going to come back up this way. For a slight angle. 
Got it all the way back, and now you can start seeing his backbone. So I try to get as much meat off of the fish as I can. I hate wasting anything, so... Now, before I cut this fillet off, I actually flip it over and work the other side. Otherwise, when you remove the fillet, the, the, you have the thickness of the head with the spine laying on the cutting board. So it's basically like this, so it makes it more difficult to actually get the meat from the backbone. Oh, that's pretty there. Look at that copper color. Mm -hmm. That sunshine on it, look at like the gold, the copper, copper, gold, brown. Beautiful. Beautiful fish. Yeah, guys, you ought to take the time to actually look at things around us. There's so much things that are just astonishing to me that's just beautiful. Like, you would think the scales of a fish would be beautiful, but that right there is really, really cool. So I basically do the same thing on this side of the fish. Normally, I'm doing this at home on a fish cleaning table that's the right height. Alright, and yes, I cut toward myself a little bit. Could I be very... Everything is moving here, Dave. <laughs> Cutting board, fish, knife. So now I'm going to come in here behind the head. Now I don't cut in real deep here. I'll try to stay out of the gut. I wrap it right around. A little bit of meat you can salvage on the belly there. Not much on a fish this size. So now I'm lifting and pushing with these fingers and lifting with the fillet. I'm lifting it out up off of the backbone. Now, right in here, there's some what's called pin bones. There's several of them right in there. You kind of have to cut through those bones because they stick straight up from his spine, straight out from his spine. It's right near the rib cage, right? Yep. yep. You can kind of see the ribs here. No. Yep. There you go. See the ribs. And the pin bones are right down the center line of the fish. So. Let's pull that off. One fillet. We've got to make sure we don't drop that in, in the sand. Okay, so now we've already got this side done. I'm going to take this. There. There's two there fillets. Go. I'm going to take a walk this down and throw it out a good way so that the photo will pull the shore. And get the other one. Okay. Crabs and little fish will be happy with that. So I got in a little close here, got a little rib bone, and I cut that guy out. So this knife is pretty darn sharp, so it cuts through bones easy. You can see a little bit of the lining of the belly there. You can cut that out if you don't like it. It won't hurt you. And right here, one way to feel these pin bones, rub your finger this way, but if you come this way, you'll start to feel little bones in here. <coughs> and especially right on the center line of the fillet. So what I do is I'll come in on each side of it, cut down all the way to the skin, but try not to cut through the skin. Come on the other side. And they only go about to here, about half, not quite halfway, probably a third way down the fillet. So from there, you'll feel put a little one there. Now, now I leave that, I don't try to pull that out just yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my fingernails. So all you guys that bite your fingernails, this is harder for you, so don't bite your fingernails. Push down with a fingernail. So I've seen some guys on TV, they'll cut here and they waste half a bite of meat, but it's not necessary if you got a little bit of fingernail there. So I'm holding with this and I'm 
I'm not sawing too much. I'm kind of pushing and rocking the knife back and forth to get it through. It comes out with a fillet. There's our piece with the pin bones in it. So spread that apart. All right, that fillet is ready to rinse and then cook. Do our other. Try to just drop that in the bucket for now. these fillets and we'll put them in a ziplock and we'll put them on ice until we're ready to cook. Fabulous. Absolutely delicious. Fresh. Nothing like fresh fish. The fresh vegetables, the ingredients. Just awesome. Just awesome. You gotta do this, folks. You gotta do this. It's, it's amazing. One more bite, Dan, before you eat. Mm -mm -mm. Just awesome. Good? Oh, my God. It is so good. Mm. Good yet simple. It's actually very simple. I can't say enough. It's so good. You just taste that. You can't beat fresh fish with the fresh ingredients on an island. 
Put the sea breeze behind you. That's just awesome. All right, Dan, your turn. All right, let's get out. Well, folks, there you have it. It was our catch and cook. And today, Dr. Dan became chef man. He did just an awesome job of uh, preparing the uh, the fish. That we, as uh, you saw, we went out earlier and put the uh, uh, mango snappers uh, and then laid them. There, the what would you call that? The back of the dial? Yes, the What was in there again? So we had uh, red onions, cucumber, tomato, cilantro, and lime juice. So if you want the recipe, let us know. And we'll get that recipe out to you. So in the meanwhile, thanks for watching. And uh, God bless you and catch you on the next video. All right, and we're back. That was just a fabulous fishing adventure. I enjoyed myself tremendously. Not to mention it was some great, great tasting table fair or island fair. Yeah. <laughs> so Dan, tell us a little more about the, our day and how we uh, ended, ended it. Okay, so you can, as we said earlier, you can do this at your body of water, wherever you live USA. Um, check your local regulations, mm -hmm. as you saw uh, with some of the snapper, we had undersized uh, muttons yep. Yep. and uh, we had some undersized mangroves. Um, always carry a little ruler to make sure that you're legal. Um, then a little bit of prep. A little bit of prep time. You That's know, key. Yeah, I just that I got key. the ingredients ahead of time, put it in the cooler so we are ready to go the next day. Yep. Make sure you have a cooler with ice and something to drink and uh, give it a shot. I really think you're going to have a good time doing it. I know that we're already talking about doing it again. So for sure, give it a shot. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. <laughs> your kids, your family will yeah. just love it. The fact yep. that they can hook into a fish, keep it, yeah, prep it, and eat it all in the same day. Yeah, if it's on an island, it's just a bonus. You can do, you can take it back home and do the same thing. But if you do it at a yeah. remote location, it's just, it's, a, it, it has that adventure aspect to it. And you know, so. it'd be something good too. Just like they mentioned, your, your wife and kids, like. It, some ladies may not want to be out on the boat all day. It's a good break yes, for the middle is. of the day. <laughs> Make sure you got some shade. Yep, yep. Be prepared, men. Be prepared. And go and show your family and you know a good time. Um, some of these little islands here that we have are super cool. Mm -hmm. You can hang out for several hours mm -hmm. and uh, make a really fun day of it, a nice peaceful day. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah. Well, there you have it. Hope you enjoyed that as much as we did. Uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you can catch more of Beyond the Headwaters uh, segment or videos that we'll be producing soon. And uh, don't miss them. Everyone be safe. God bless you. Good fishing. See you guys.